Why are you long and short at the same time? Don't the trades just cancel each other out? This is one of the most common questions I get when people see me trade. And today I'm going to tell you exactly why I do this and how taking a long trade and a short trade, a schlong trade, both at the same time is actually my secret weapon to being more consistent and more profitable over time. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications because we are bringing you the juiciest trading strategy videos here on YouTube. Knowing how to schlong is a very powerful tool in any trader's toolbox. But before we talk about why and how to do it, we need to understand a few fundamental things about how the market moves. Now, a lot of traders, when they first get into trading, they're always looking for those big moves, right? Those big moves up, those big moves down, they're chasing the big moves. However, if we just zoom out on the chart, we can see that most of the time, price is trading within a clearly defined sideways range with a clearly defined high and a clearly defined low. And if we can identify these areas, we can then tell, say to ourselves, it's more probable than not, price will simply just trade sideways with a clearly defined high as our resistance and a clearly defined low as support. Now I've just drawn out four ranges, but we can see we can draw an even bigger box around all four of these ranges and see that these four ranges are actually mini ranges within a much larger range. Why am I telling you this? It's because when we are looking for trades, instead of waiting for that big breakout, or that big break down, it's better to identify the sideways range and understand that it's more probable when we're coming to the top of a sideways range that we will get a move back down to the bottom of the sideways range. And we're at the bottom of the sideways range, it's more probable than not that we will get a move up toward the top of the sideways range. In fact, it's very rare that we will get a big break. Now, a typical trader comes to these markets and they learn that if price breaks down from support, we should short. Right. And if price, if price breaks up above resistance, we should long. Well, let's just take a look at how that would work out on this sideways range. Right. We made our first high. There's two potential breakouts here. You could have longed both of these breakouts and gotten wrecked. OK. None, no long trades would have worked out here. Now we come down to support. We make our first low. You would have shorted two breakdowns here, gotten wrecked. Finally, on that last trade, you would have had a win. Right. So what does that mean? four losses and one win. As opposed to just looking for shorts at the highs, we would have had one successful short here, one successful short here, come down to the lows, one, two successful longs. We had four wins and one losses. So you can see one loss. You can see how powerful it is just looking for trades at the highs and the lows of the range. Now, here's something else. You never know if you're taking a long from the top of the range, whether or not that's gonna be the final time we come to the top of the range. So if you are looking for shorts at the top of the range, instead of looking for shorts at the bottom of the range, if let's say you can hold that trade and hold it during the breakdown, you're now gonna be in a massive short, right? Just like the short I'm in right now. That's exactly what I did. I shorted the top of the range right up here. I didn't know it was the top of the range, but I ended up holding the trade all the way down to where we're at right now. And that trade is currently in massive, massive profits right here. Okay, I've made about $7,000 on that trade so far. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because if you can design your trading so that you can guarantee that you are making money on a trade and then you open up a new trade in the opposite direction, what it does is it guarantees that you're going to make money and it actually causes you to be in a position where no matter what happens, you will be making money. Let's take a look at this example right here. OK, I took a long from right down here. It's the setup that we gave in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. In fact, we gave the short from the exact top and the long from the exact bottom in the Casper Crew. OK, I'm in a long from down here and a short from down here. This is where the power of schlonging comes in. I'm simply just longing from the bottom of the sideways range, shorting from the top of the sideways range. OK, what you want to do is after the price gets a significant move in your direction. Let's say you long from down here. You want to take half of the trade out. Once you take half the trade out, you move your stop loss to the entry. What does that mean? That means once you have taken half of your trade out and your stop loss is at your entry, this is now a guaranteed winning trade because if the price comes back down and stops you out at your entry, you've already realized the profit on the trade. It's a guaranteed win. This long trade right here, there's two scenarios. It's win-win. 
either price dumps down and I get stopped out of my entry for a win, or price breaks out and I'm going to end up in another massive trade like this one I took from up here. Those are my only two options. It's a win-win situation. So if you see, after locking in profit on a long trade, the opportunity to take a short trade at the top of the range, you can do the exact same thing in the opposite direction, right? You can take a partial profit and then move your stop loss to your entry. And then it doesn't matter what price does because now you're short from the top of the sideways range. You're long from the bottom of the sideways range. Your stop loss is at your entry. Both trades have a realized profit. There's no way you could lose money. The only two options are we dump like crazy, break down, and your short trades in massive profit, and your long trade gets stopped out in profit, or we pump like crazy, your long trade is now in massive profit, and your short trade gets stopped out after taking a profit. So you're basically putting yourself in a win-win situation. Now, the benefits of this are mainly psychological. I get a lot of hate people saying, Jason, you're leaving gains on the table. And that is true. Technically, I am leaving gains on the table. But trading this way makes me more profitable over time for psychological purposes. The biggest question that people get when they're not trading this way is, should I close the trade or should I keep it open, right? How many times have you or somebody you know, they take a trade, they're in profit, and they're like, should I close it? Or do you think we're going to keep going? What do you think? Should I close it or keep it open? Well, if you take this approach, the answer is yes, you do. You close some of it and you keep the rest open. It's a win-win situation. This prevents things like FOMO, right? Let's say you shorted from the top and then you close it out and then we start to drop and you FOMO into short when you shouldn't and then price comes back up and stops you out and takes back all the gains you made. This prevents you from chasing price and it also prevents you from looking at the charts through a certain bias, right? If you're only in a short trade, you're gonna be looking at everything through a bearish bias. If you're only in a long trade, you're gonna be looking at everything through a bullish bias. But if you're in both positions, you can come to the charts objectively. And if you know that you're already in these high term time frame trades, both are guaranteed profit, you can go to a lower time frame and look for opportunities just like you were on the higher time frame. Now you could be in four trades at the same time, two longs and two shorts, all four are in profit and it's just compounding on itself. Whatever happens now, you're well positioned in that direction. You could go down to even lower time frames. This is the trade we took this morning in the New York Open live stream here, right? And you can long and short at the same time. You can take partial profits and then you can hold the rest and whatever happens, happens. And you can be very comfortable in that position. And over time, I have been much more consistent and much more profitable trading this way than only trading in one direction, questioning whether or not to close it, leaving gains on the table, FOMOing into trades, chasing price, and stuff like that. Now guys, if you want to learn how to trade this way, check out the website, jasoncaspertrading.com. We have three courses in here. This will teach you exactly how I approach these charts, my exact strategies that I use to enter and exit trades. We're also happy to announce White Phoenix's Smart Money Approach to Trading, a brand new course that just came out by one of our instructors in the Casper Crew, White Phoenix. This is the most comprehensive course I've ever seen. I'm taking it now. I'm learning so much from it. And guys, if you want to join the Casper Crew, where we literally gave the long trade from the exact bottom, the short trade from the exact top, we gave the short on the S&P 500 from the exact top. Every single day, we do multiple live streams going through the live price action. JasonCasperTrading.com. Click the link to join the Discord. And if you want to trade cryptocurrency, I highly recommend MEXC. 0% limit order fees, 0.01% market order fees. I am also trading on Bing X. On Bing X, you can trade stocks, Forex, using your Tether as margin. Links in the pinned comment and description. Guys, that is it for today's video. I do pray that everybody watching and listening is blessed. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua the Messiah, even if you're not religious, I pray you and your family are super blessed, and I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.